Hello and welcome to Colleague 7 Sprint Review for 18.11.02. This will cover the work undertaken between the 13th of November to the 26th of November. We start with our sprint goal and for this sprint we've been looking to establish the necessary path to ensure all clients can utilise the background service for bulk mailing and to deliver the second phase of works relating to the new template management solution. Looking at the high level items and to explain further, in this sprint we've been working on finishing implementing our new template management solution. This will allow for users to upload Word templates to Colleague 7, edit the templates in Word via OneDrive, add merge fills on template creation and create a document using the Word template from an NTU record. I'll give a demo on this shortly. As part of a series of works in relation to the bulk mailing from a search results, we've been looking into why we've had issues granting permissions to new users and to use the, when using the background service. This resulted in some minor updates which we've applied to resolve this issue moving forwards. We've also been looking into another DevOps related item to allow for multi-instance processing on the background service to support auto scaling essentially allowing the resource within our infrastructure to scale up or down based on the load of the background service. We have some outstanding work to deliver off the back of this, which will be sorted in the next sprint. It was raised that it was possible to edit a document and then if you quickly go to send that document, the updates to the file can sometimes fail to make it back to the original document in time. This results in the original document being sent rather than the updated version. We've now delivered a solution that checks whether there are any pending updates to a document before it's being sent. And we've updated the SMS feature so that the mobile number is converted into an acceptable format when processing a message and so that the character counts on the SMS message box is also set to ensure you cannot exceed the accepted number of characters within a message. We'll now go for a brief demonstration on the key features from this sprint. OK, so there's only a couple of things really to cover from a, a UI perspective as part of this sprint review. Um, if I cover the first one and really was the main um, item of the sprint, and that was to finalise the work in relation to uploading a template. Um, so previously within Colleague, um, you've always had this option to um, add a new template and that template would be built within this um, interface, this uh, HTML based interface. But the feedback that we were getting from a lot of clients uh, was that it was difficult to recreate the sort of templates that you would create in a Word document within this um, interface, which is um, understandable. I mean, it's, it's designed to try and help you with uh, multiple formatting, but it's just not the same, obviously, as with, with the options that come with a, a Word document uh, as you're building a template there. Um, so instead, what we introduced as part of the last sprint was an option to upload a template. So that means that um, it, it's obviously a, a, for the purposes of it being a, a, a document. So when you're creating a document from an entity, um, you specify your scope, we'll choose the candidates, uh, we'll then choose the file. And um, for this, we'll choose a file I've been using here. Um, and then you give it a description. So example, example template. Um, and you've also got an option to access our merge fields as well. So um, when you're uploading the template, you can include within the template merge fields uh, and then those merge fields are converted as part of that process. So if I just click on that um, merge field list, you'll see the um, help file entry that we've created within here. Um, this gives you all of the merge fields that you can use um, within the document. And obviously we'll build on this um, over time in future. Um, but on the basis of you having uh, your template, the merge fields being in there and uh, essentially it being ready to be uploaded, uh, we upload it, we save the template, um, the upload process is performed um, and then what you have uh, here is you've got two different file types now. You've got a file type of web, which essentially anything that any template that you've created within uh, that older interface as a web template and then you've got an uploaded template, um, which is... Um, obviously anything that's been uploaded that way. Um, so obviously you can see there example template um, and then you can see that um, the template was uploaded and you can see a, 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 a preview of that example template. This isn't the exact format of that template because um, it's a Word document so you can't um, preview the Word file exactly as it is within a, a browser um, but what you can do is obviously um, edit the template and it will open up in a new browser, take you to um, Microsoft Word online 
um, through SharePoint and allowed access the doc template in that way. And then that's just basically um, uh, how templates would be managed moving forwards uh, from a Word document perspective, from a Word template perspective. Um, so that was done as part of the last sprint. What the work we finished as part of this sprint was then incorporating it into the create document feature. So now when you're on a uh, candidate record, you can go to create documents um, and you'll have the option uh, from the template selection list, you'll have that um, uploaded option uh, within here. So the file I chose, it was example. Oh, uh, example template. There we go, sorry. And then what you do is you select the example template and you'll see that it's pulled through um, the document and it's also the merge fields have also been populated as well and it's essentially created the file from that. Uh, what you can then do is obviously give it a name or sorry, give it a document type, give it a test uh, and then assign an index associated to that document for searching. And then you have the option obviously of save as Word doc, hit that and um, it will actually then build the file. You then have the option, obviously, to open the doc document or to download the document. It will then exist within the documents area, the file that you've created here, this example template you can see um, has pulled through that file. And obviously, if you want to um, open the document and edit the document, um, you can do so by just clicking on that file. And, and yeah, again, now, you, now you're in that file and you can edit it from here. And essentially, it means that um, you know headers and footers, image design, tables, and all of the features that you would incorporate within a word-based template are then incorporated within that now moving forwards. Um, so that's the, 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 the main work that was done really in this sprint in re regards to our, our template management process. Um, and that puts us in good stead going into the new year um, in terms of how we're going to manage templates moving forwards. Uh, but that's the main update there. The next point to cover, and, and is the other point to cover, sorry, essentially a part of the sprint review, is the work that we did on the SMS feature. Um, so we've been refining and enhancing the SMS feature um, following a, a series of feedback with regards to um, how the um, functionality has, has worked um, in various different scenarios. We've got more better error handling against the SMS feature now. Um, and also as part of doing that, it's meant that we've learned how um, or learned some of the areas where it can fall over or used to be able to fall over. So we've ref we're now sort of refining that. Um, so one of the key uh, or two of the key components relating to that was the fact that the mobile number, um, which can appear in various different formats um, against a, uh, a candidate record, the mobile number needs to be in a specific format for the recipient. And, and what we do now is ensure that, that mobile number has been converted to be in that correct format when you're running the SMS feature rather than trying to um, run using the whatever mobile number you've put against that field, it will, it will convert it into the appropriate number. Um, and also in terms of the message counter or, or the sorry, uh, the uh, number of characters that can be sent as part of an SMS. Previously, this uh, box didn't have a, a limiter that would prevent you from going beyond the amount of, that you could send. Um, what you now can see here is that you've got a message counter there that advises um, the uh, a number of uh, characters that have been used out of the maximum number, which is 918. And for every uh, 160 characters that has been used, it equates to one credit. So what you'll see is a credit counter essentially tally up and advise how many credits, uh, SMS credits you're using um, as part of this uh, 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 nine, one, nine, uh, sorry, 918 quota um, that you're uh, typing within. Uh, and obviously off the back of, back of that, once it's all sorted, you send um, the SMS, um, it, it heads off and obviously you get that message through um, to the mobile. Um, and that's uh, the update that we've made there. As always, if you have any queries or feedback, please get in touch. I'll be keen to hear from you. Also, for those using Colleague 7, feel free to submit your enhancement requests via the support team or directly to me using the above email address. The next video will be the sprint plan for 18.12.01. And as always, that will contain a high level overview on the items we intend to work on during that sprint. Thanks for watching.